Hey, we're back, and you've probably already noticed that there's something different. Let's go ahead, get it out of your system. I know, I know. It's all good. It's just hair. It'll grow back. But in the meantime, it's a hell of a lot colder now. So now that we've got the obvious out of the way, what we all came here for is more parts. So one of the orders that I did put in last week, I think it was, was from our friends over at Advan. And I mean, y'all remember we did the new front tire and you know, it, lo it looks magnificent. Freaking love the thing, but we're gonna elevate it with that. So in that box is the new wrapper fender, hugger fender, wrapped hugger, I don't know, uh, 21 inch fender from Advan in, of course, vivid black because huh, it's the right color. So uh, I've already opened it up because we know me, I'm impatient, uh, but I did kind of package everything back in. So what I'll do is I'll get you guys on a tripod and kind of we'll go through the unboxing and you can kind of see what all was in there, how it comes packaged because their the shit's packaged pretty good. So give me a quick sec, get you on a tripod, free up both of my hands, and we'll uh, crack it open. All right, so hopefully you guys still have a pretty good view here. Best I can tell, yes. So I just, I've already cracked it open, like I said, I already looked at it. I mean, it's, it's heavy duty cardboard. Yeah. Lots of the packing. And in here is the warning cards. You know, a QR code probably for directions, which we don't need directions, who uses that? But it comes with new hardware, because as most of you already know, or likely already know, the stock fender has a little captive nut on the inside, and you just thread your bolt out and you're done. The new fender doesn't have that, so they give you new bolts, washers, nylock nuts, all that, and stickers! So, Next thing, moving on, is this little packet here, which I, again, I also opened and read and tape shut, but you got two of these spacers. And you can get them for 14 and up or 13 and down to a certain year, chrome or black. I opted for a chrome, even though my lower forks are still brushed, eventually they will be a polished chrome. And let's see if I can't just tip you up here because you're just staring at stuff. Whoa, whoa, there you are. All right, because the, like I, like I was saying, uh, I'm gonna go chrome, so these ones will match much more better once the lower forks go chrome. So I'm just planning ahead, kind of future-proofing. I know it's, it's rare, but I'm trying to be better. So now let's, Pivot back around to our box here. There we are. And let's see if I can do this without dropping anything. All right. So let's get that box out of the way. Nice heavy duty plastic. And more stickers. So I actually don't know that I have. Uh, this front one here has a sticker yet. I know I've got it on a t-shirt, but uh, that might be getting added to my collection up on the HVAC. So, let's go ahead and slide this out here. And I'll tell you, oh, this fender is, a, I can already tell, is a lot heftier than that stock fender. Oh yeah, a lot heftier. Because in case you don't know, that stock fender is essentially pop metal. So I'm gonna spin you around here, point you down at the street glide there. You might be able to see this, but I can grab this and I can just shake this fender. It is just, it's thin, it, it flexes, it's just budget friendly. Let's put it that way, it's budget friendly. This much heavier gauge steel much heavier. So let's go ahead and finish unwrapping this so we can all bask in its glory. So let's get you back over here. 
Oh, oh. There we go. Now. Now all of this foam was taped on here, but I already went and cut that and just kind of wrapped it around again. So let's get that wrapper out of the way. Nobody freak out. There are rubber bumpers protecting the front and rear edges along with the edge here that actually bolts to the fork leg. So I'm actually gonna go pop off my rings here so that way I don't damage anything. Um, but I mean, that that's a solid steel. Even the underside, they didn't cheap out if that's coming through with the, the primer on the underside. So I mean, this is just all around much more better. So yeah, great paint, don't see any orange peel. I mean, Advan just you know, hits it out of the park again. So now some of the tools that we need, I've already got set aside, but we're going to need, I need at least, uh, an Allen key of one size. And actually let me go ahead and grab everything because I wasn't prepared. So I need a quarter inch Allen head. I got a seven thirty seconds. We are gonna use a half inch box wrench along with a six inch extension on our three eighths drive ratchet. And that should be everything we need to go ahead and do this quickie swap. So we're gonna go ahead and pop you back off the tripod, kind of show you what's gonna go where and keep rocking. So hold up. All right, and we're mobile again. So as we saw when I got the wheel, it came with a little riser bracket here. So I could just lift my stock fender up and, and that worked great. But now I've got one socket there. That's my quarter inch. And then this is my, okay, maybe not that one. Maybe I got ahead of myself. No, I'll be damned. I screwed up. Uh, that's the one I need. Oh, that's right. So it's a quarter inch to get these out. And then it's the 7 sixteenths, 7 30 seconds to put the new one on now with their hardware. So what I'm going to do, see if I can't get this back here for you, is there's the nut that I put on there. And you can't see a whole lot. So let's get some light. And right up here, see if I can point, is the captive nut there, just above this nut, right up there, uh, of the fender. So when I put this on originally, whoop, let's get you out of there. I kind of had to flex the fender to get through the forks. And I don't want to do that this time. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this first roll the fender out, set it aside, then I'm gonna take these brackets off. And then the nut back on the backside is a half inch, hence why we're getting that box wrench. So I'm gonna go ahead and yoink this off, get it set aside, and then we'll uh, get geared up to drop the new one on. So we're just gonna leave that one in a little bit so that way nothing comes crashing down on me. Now you can't see this side, so I'm just gonna go knock it out.
There's three out of four. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and brace it as we finish it off. Make sure it doesn't go crashing around. Wipe it up. There we go. And roll forward. So, set that over here on a spare tire that I have so it's not getting damaged. All right, and we're good to go there. So this new fender is just going to hug right along the upper edge of that wheel and just hug this tire. So you won't see the tire up here, but you'll see nothing but wheel, which what we're going for should look pretty good. So now we're going to go ahead and take this bracket off and get it set aside since I know I'm not going to need it. Hopefully I didn't he-man this on too hard. Oh, good. It's like I planned on doing this. Nope. Yep, that one. All right. Perfect. Okay. Separate that. And let's get back in there. You know, around this bracket looks great. Now yeah, it's just we're gonna have to wrap it up and set it aside and see if I've got uh, a friend of mine, anybody I know that's looking to do something like this. Maybe I can pass it along to them since I shouldn't be needing it in the future. But yeah, we'll see. I always like to check with my friends who ride and see if they got any upcoming projects that uh, I can help out with even if it's just donating parts that I don't need anymore. So. Let's just pretend we didn't hear that. brackets off and set the hardware down that we won't need and I'll go grab that fender and my spacers along with my hardware I'm sure this would probably be easier if you had an extra set of hands I was hoping to but apparently he's off at a birthday party at the casino so him and his family always taking priority over me. Jeez. All right, so hardware set up. We got our fender. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this. Just, there we go. I'm gonna pop this little rubber bumper off. Get our tape out of there. And we gotta do the same, whoop, same here. So let's get that off. Come on. Work with me now. All right, go. You're hanging on like I owe you money. Okay, one more side. Now I'm gonna be off camera while doing this. Bear with me here. Okay, so there's most of our bumpers off. Now, we're just gonna carefully slide this up and move back. And we're just gonna rest it on the tire for the moment. Okay. So, 
we got our bolt that'll go through here, through our block, through our fender, and then we got washer and a nylock nut. Let's go ahead and get our spacer and our bolt. See if I can do this without dropping or damaging anything. So this is kind of what I do. All right, don't want to feed that in. Just gonna feed it in far enough to catch the block, but not so far in that we risk catching the fender. Okay, so washer nut. Ha ha, always important to washer nuts. Okay, now this is where that extra set of hands would come in handy. But we're just gonna do the best we can here. Okay, so that one's through. Okay, so we'll just uh, finger tight these washers and nuts, and then I'll slide over to the other side and do the same thing. And we'll snug everything down after we kind of align the fender because we'll have a little bit of forward and backwards movement where we can kind of, you know, rock it. And you'll see that once I get the other bolts in. So we'll just kind of snug it down a little bit, you know, check this because we got a little bit of movement, a little bit of adjustment. And then once we get our reveal where we like it, then we'll uh, snug everything down. I oh, guess probably want our other spacer block here. Grab bolts and do this again. Stay, stay. Ah. Okay, coming on through. There we go. There's one and. We're a little high. Do you hate it when you're just a little high? Not as high as you meant to be? I don't know. Okay. So now we start juggling the fender. Get everything in. Come on. There we go. One and two. Okay. Whoa. I'm caught on a tire stand. Wheel chalk, there we go. That's the word I was looking for. Thanks for ever mentioning that. It was not coming to me. So, one, two, and there we go. All right. So we're going to take that and our other Allen head, our 730 seconds, now that I corrected myself, I'm going to snug these up a little bit. Since, since they're nylock nuts, we shouldn't really need to worry about torque spec. And they might give you a torque spec in the directions. I didn't read the directions. I've just seen this done a few times and I'm just rolling with it so because you know we don't use directions in this garage until yeah you know, we get stuck and frustrated and you know, turn the camera off and and check yeah because if you're gonna read the directions you don't want anybody to see you read the directions that's plausible deniability Okay, so that's a little snug. We're gonna do the same thing over here. So, not gonna hulk out on it. Just gonna put enough tension on it to where hopefully the fender holds whatever position we tell it to hold. Come on, let go.
know, it's probably a little bit easier if you guys weren't just sitting right there over my shoulder. Have a little bit of more room to, to get a better angle on this. Yeah, yeah, you heard me. It's all your fault. You didn't hear that. All right. Snugging up a little bit. Okay. So you see, now we got a little bit of play there. So, now I'm just gonna step back over your shoulder, see how it looks. That's not too shabby. I think I could live with that. What do you guys think? Yeah, I agree. So, we'll go ahead and finish snugging that up. No, I like that. Hey, give it back. Give it back. Let go. There we go. Call that good. I love these uh, Harbor Freight sockets, uh, Allen sockets. But you know what? For the most part, they work great. Not as good as a Snap-on or Mac or maybe even Craftsman, but you know what? Those are expensive. And since I do this as a hobby, I'm not gonna go and drop, you know, cow, I don't know, what is a set of these Allen sockets from Snap-on Run? About 3,000 bucks for a six piece? Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Okay, that feels snug. That little extra oomph. That's where I go. There we go. All right. Fender is on. But you guys tell me what you think. The little fender tip here, the little rubber bumper. You know, if those guys driving around in the Dodge Chargers, the Challengers, you know, if they can pull it off, those SRT guys, maybe I can too. What do you think? Just leave this on here? Maybe I'll take the tape off, but leave the leave the rubber on there. Why not? You know, those douches can do it. I, yeah, I think I'm a big enough douche. I can pull that off. No, no. We're not going to do that. We're going to be better than that. Ah. Okay. And, and by the way, to the, if you are watching and you have a Dodge Charger or Challenger and you're driving around on this, or you're driving around with your fender guards on, yeah, I'm calling you out. Take that shit off. It's not supposed to stay there. Anyway, end of my rant. So what do you guys think? I think that's pretty sexy. Definitely looks better than that big old monster fender. Really just showcases nothing but wheel. Just what we want. I'm digging it. So we're going to go ahead and stand up, get more of a you know POV view, and get out of your hair. Hold up. All right. So now that we're up more high level. Yeah. Yeah, it still, still looks good. Looks even better, I think, instead of that big old monster, that low, pros, low profile sexiness. Oh yeah, that'll do, that, that'll do, pig. So that uh, wraps it up, and it, it took, you guys were with me the whole time. I cut the camera enough to throw you on a tripod or back into my hand. I, I think all said and done, is it 15 minutes? I like these nice short projects because I can you know, start and be done, before I really get cold and have to go back inside. So 
we're gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with the, the fender here. I don't know, I might maybe try to find a way to hang it up there. I don't know, we'll see. But all in all, quick and easy. Looks great, it's gonna look even better once I have those chrome lower forks. So, and we got something else coming in on Wednesday, today's Friday. On Wednesday, we got something else coming in. That'll be another uh, short install video. Uh, my buddy that we were uh, out at not too long back doing his fuel caps, he's got something else that he's doing. Uh, it's probably gonna be another quickie video. Uh, and this weekend, tomorrow, Sunday, I might have done a thing. So I'll bring you along and we'll see what, I, what I've done. And you guys can laugh at me while I laugh at myself. And I'm going to be relying on all of you out there for some ideas. So that's all I've got. Uh, until next time, take it easy. If you would, you know, like, comment, subscribe. I'm still getting back to all of you. That's all I got. We'll catch you all next time. Later. You know what? I heard it. I wasn't satisfied with that. But we're not going to cut it out because I'm an amateur dumbass. Well, I'm a professional dumbass amateur videographer. So let's try that sign off again. We'll catch y'all. Still can't get it right. We'll catch y'all later.